What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. So in this video we're going to take a look at the DJI Mavic 3 Classic and we're going to see if this is the best drone for its price. Now these have been on sale here in Sweden now for the past three weeks. So by that I found one on a really good deal uh, on Craigslist. I found this for $800. But the only thing uh, that this has not the RC controller, this has the RC N1 controller. Even though $800 is a good price. But I also found the RC Pro controller on Craigslist for around $400. So I found this on, in a really, really good price. Compared to the original price, the retail price, it's around $1,000 for this controller by itself. But $400 because the RC controller, the not Pro model, but the RC controller is around $300 here in Sweden. So I got this for $400, which is a really good price. But in today's video, we're going to try this out with the RC and one controller because I have not flown uh, with this controller yet. And I heard so much good things about this controller that... These are that these controllers are even better than the RC controllers when it comes to uh, signal and all that good stuff. So we're going to get, take a look at it. In tomorrow's video, we're going to unbox this and we're going to try that out as well with the drone. So we're going to push this to the side right now. But yeah, let's open this up and uh, see how the drone looks and all that good stuff. Let's go. By the way, this drone. Uh, the owner had put on a beautiful skin on it, a white skin, so I'm going to show you how it looks. And uh, then we're going to take a look at the controller. So we can push the box to the side, and then we got the drone itself. As you can see, it has a white skin on it, all over the drone. It had on the top as well, but I took it off. I think it looks way better uh, like this than an all white drone that it was. But as you can see, it has white skin all over it, the drone. I took off on the side as well. Like I said, I think it looks way, way better like this. But yeah, that's the drone itself. Let's take a look at the controller. And like I complained on the Air 3 model, that it doesn't come with a charger. You get a 65 watt charger on this, which is pretty nice. And then we got the RCN1 controller. Let's take a look at this. So simple. Uh, controller you pull this up put your phone here and then you got a cord like I said <coughs> with the uh, old uh, Mavic Pro Platinum which I had the controller was just a hassle to put this on but I think this is gonna be more simplicity because you can just put your phone and then just connect your cable and then you got your as you can see down here I'm just gonna move this for now so we can look at this but yeah the drone is in excellent condition as you can see not a scratch on it nothing for $800 I think this is a steal I think this drone is gonna be really really awesome as you can see this even on the camera gimbal it got some white skin so pretty awesome actually I would never have thought that there were skins for drones, but now you know. So we're going to take this out for a flight. And uh, let's see what this drone looks like. Let's go. By the way, I just have to do a firmware update on this drone. Uh, since I think this, not, this drone is not updated to the last uh, uh, firmware update that came out just a couple of days ago. So we're going to do the firmware update charge it up and then we're going to take it for flight let's go
That was the DJI Mavic 3 test flight. And before we talk about the drum, let's talk about the RCM1 controller. I think this this controller is is all right, nothing bad. Uh, it's simple. Just take it out, put your phone in. iPhone 14 Pro Max fits perfectly here. You have to take out you have to take the phone out of its case, but it will fit perfectly. There's already a cord inside here for your iPhone and. Uh, there are other cords for the for other Android phones as well, but it's pretty simple, and I did not lose signal or connections not even once during this test flight. So I think if you're not now that the drone is not on sale with the RC controller, if you're thinking about buying this bundle, why not? It's not that bad to use, but I will wait for Black Friday. Maybe this bundle will be cheaper. Or I would wait for the RC controller to be cheaper on Black Friday as well because uh, a couple of weeks ago the bundle with the RC controller cost as much as this bundle. Then I would just then I would just uh, go with the RC controller rather than this one because we all think it's a hassle just to use our phone on this uh, unless you have an extra phone laying around and you use that because. You get text, you get uh, phone calls and all that during your flight. It will just ruin the experience when you're flying with this one. But yeah, let's talk about the DJI Mavic 3 Classic. I think this is the best drone for its price. And I'm going to compare it price-wise with the Air 3 because uh, they cost almost the same. I would go with this one over the Air 3 any day because I use the Air 3 for three weeks. I barely use the zoom. Uh, when I needed to get closer to an object, I just flew closer to the object I, I was going to film. Uh, during those three weeks, I used it once with the Air 3, the zoom, and I was just to show you guys in the video test that I did how the zoom works and how it looks like. But rather, uh, other than that, I did not use the zoom at all. So this one, when this is on sale and you can get it for $150, just buy the extra fly more kit and you will get exactly the same, almost the same price as the Air 3 with the fly more combo. Because you have to buy a charger with the, with the Air 3, no matter what, and you will get around $2,000 for that price of the Air 3 with the fly more combo kit and an extra 100 watt charger. But with, this, but with this drone, you will get the charger in the package itself. So you get a 65 watt charger, charges up really, really fast. The Hasselblad camera, awesome on this you can see it on in the Fuji footage the hassle the the air 3 camera comes not nowhere close to this hassle bad camera uh, you can watch my uh, air 3 video and compare it to this video and you will see that the hassle bled camera that this has awesome I think as I said 
the best drone for its price. Now, if you want to go a step <coughs> above that, then there is the Mavic 3 Pro. With the Flymore Combo Kit, it will cost you over $3,000 if you want to get that instead. But if you're not the guy, the person that will use Zoom and all that other good stuff that the Pro has, rather than Zoom, I don't know if there is anything else that the, the Mavic 3 Pro has, but awesome, awesome drone for its price. Now, in the next video, we're going to try out the sensors on this. I haven't tried it out. I tried it out on the Air 3, where we active tracked myself, where I active, active, track, uh, active tracked myself, and I let it follow me and see what kind of obstacles it can uh, avoid and all that other stuff. So, yeah, we're going to try the all. We're going to try the sensors out in the next video. So, stay tuned for that. And I also got me some other stuff. We're going to try out. I bought the, this camera and I bought uh, a mount for it so we're gonna unless it's not that windy outside I'm gonna mount it on above it so we can get some other footage other camera footage from the drone when it's flying around so stay tuned for that and also if you got this DJI Mavic 3 Classic put a comment what you think about it if you're thinking about buying it comment that as well and as always, subscribe, like, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.